Hey YouTube, Random Reactions HD here, bringing you another video. And today it it's Friday, and that means it's a Freaky Friday uh, reaction video. And this reaction will be a video to um, it's called Five Scary TikTok Videos That Will Spook Your Socks Off uh, by a small channel. Uh, called Goose Pimples. They're on the road to a hundred thousand subscribers And yeah, as you saw in my introduction, I've got some bits in the end um, A couple of days ago on June 8th. It was my birthday. I turned 40 So yeah, just got a bunch of cards just gonna show uncle Brother Another one, 40 on it. Another one with 40 on it. 40. And 40. And 40. And I also got uh, from my mum, bless her. I got a glass. Don't know if you can see that. So happy 40th birthday, Peter. I thought that was uh, quite good. Quite nice, you know. And uh, what else? Yeah, I've got this No Fear shirt. Um, I just got, you know, socks, pants, um, some shirts. And I got um, from my oldest brother, I got a smaller glass about that size, a handle on it. Um, happy 40th birthday on it from there. From uh, their daughter and uh, two sons. Uh, put the uh, letters on themselves and uh, yeah I think that was about it had a good day it was on a Wednesday so <laughs> I was at work so uh, let's get into this video um, where are we let's put this over here okay yeah I've never never heard of this um, YouTube channel called Goose Pimples Okay, let's play it, let's try, see if the subtitles work. Okay, and three, two, one. Oh, uh, if you're new, consider subscribing, turn on the notification bell, hit that thumbs up button, helps out the channel. Uh, sit back, relax, enjoy, grab your favorite um, beer, beverage, pop soda, tea, coffee, as always, you know me, I've got my tea. And yeah, enjoy. Number five. Knock. Oh, um, I'm also, I'm sort of a believer with like the supernatural, uh, paranormal, you know, ghost aliens, that kind of thing. Haven't had any experiences myself. But if I was to have an experience, oh, I, w I would believe it more. Um, comment down below if you've had any experiences. Do you believe in the paranormal and things like that? I'd like to know. Okay, so number five. Knock, run. Michael and Heather from the TikTok page Southern Haunts have been Southern living Haunts. a real nightmare ever since they started engaging with the strange happenings in their home. But as you probably know by now, <sighs> that's your first mistake there. Sorry, but why are you playing with? A blimmin' Ouija board. 
you're just looking for trouble. Paranormal activity doesn't start off terrifying straight away. It builds up over time. Mm -hmm. There's somebody here with me right now, can you? I missed that. Please open the door. Did you see that? The, the uh, light fell onto their bed. But, as you probably know by now, paranormal activity doesn't start off terrifying straight away. It oh. builds up over time. There's somebody here with me right now, can you? Please open the door. Thank you. If you're mad at somebody in this house or mad in general, can you open the door harder? Please? <laughs> Why are you saying. Oh my god. Please. If um if you like the paranormal uh, like ghost stuff um, videos and all that there there is this channel on YouTube um, that I really like I've been watching them for um, quite a while now it's called Really Haunted I'll leave a link in the description below I feel sorry for him because um, it got so so bad in his house that um, his wife and his um, children had to leave and he had to he decided to stay there yeah get it all sorted out oh my god oh my god oh my god and i got goosebumps y'all thank you yeah i got Bit of chicken, has a stand in it. Don't you like toilet roll? Yep, have a look in the drawers. Oh god, is the cat, <laughs> cat gonna freak out? A fair <laughs> bit of this footage left their viewers skeptical. Cats have none of it. Look at you. Dressed up all creepy and weird. <laughs> cool. With comments attributing all of these events to strings, the cats, and even some cheeky editing to prove their claims, they started setting up a few more cameras around the house. But things got scarier when the cat started to notice something wasn't quite right. Uh, cats don't like that. For all we know, somebody could be standing just out of shot and giving us the illusion that there's something spooky lurking. Yeah, could be out of the shot with a piece of string. In the house. But we can't deny that the cat definitely clocked onto something fishy. No pun intended. Something At this fishy. point, you might be thinking to yourself, but this is just a boring ass footage of someone pulling some strings, right? Let's take a look at how it all started then. This was their first mistake. Ouija board. You're not supposed to let go of the Ouija board. 
I've never done it myself, I don't mess around with that stuff, letting blimmin demons in and all that stuff, playing around with Ouija boards. Do not play play with Ouija boards. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Is that upstairs? Oh my god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Heather does. What now? That was blooming somebody running down the stairs. Listen. Is that upstairs? Now. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Oh. Heaven. That is someone full on sprinting down the stairs. No thank you. I um, will be out of that house. Uh, does try and close the session by frantically saying goodbye, but it was too late. Both their hands flew off the planchette before that, yep. and that's all it takes. Many paranormal investigators seem to believe that removing your hands from the planchette before saying goodbye can open a portal that invites entities into your home through the board, and it seems like something definitely decided to shack up at the top of the stairs. Oh my God, no. After this, the activity ramped up whenever they tried to get a good night's sleep. Shh, shh, turn it down, turn it down. That is footsteps. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Shh, shh, shh. I'll just plug in my mouse in. Who's there? God. Can you imagine that? You're trying to get to sleep and you hear footsteps outside your door. I mean, and you know that it's only you or it's you and whoever you're with, your partner or whatever. No one else in the house. That's just damn right creepy. I mean, would you get up and just run and open the door, charge? Oh my God! That's uh, the start of uh, Poltergeist, I believe. Holy shit! They would throw open their bedroom door after hearing chaos rack through their kitchen, only to see all their cupboard doors thrown open. Wake up! Wake up! What? There's somebody ringing the doorbell. Ringing the doorbell. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Go check and see if someone's at the door. Is anybody there? No. I was What? What is he holding? Is that a um, drumstick or something? Shut! Shut and lock the door. Lock the door. There's no way somebody ran off that fast. And when they open their door, nobody would be anywhere in sight. Turn the lamp on. It's happening again. Near him, at homes. Are you going to charge open the door?
poltergeist activity. Don't tell me someone's going to come sprinting down the stairs. <laughs> oh no. their chairs would be scraped across the floor before all the lights cut out, engulfing them in darkness. But soon, the nighttime activities bled into broad daylight. Oh god. There's somebody knocking. That is aggressive attention. And there's another mistake. You've just gone in, invited it in, you've let it in. I mean, whatever it is, this demon poltergeist already in your house when you messed up messed around with the Ouija board. There's nothing in the pantry. Wait, did I miss something? I think I just heard a growl. To the right. Yep. If you've got headphones on, you can hear that growl. They don't like your camera. Hey. Hey. Do you hear that? You hear the footsteps? Turn the light on. Oh, bloody hell. Can you imagine that here in Blenheim? 
footsteps at your bedroom door and then knocking. No thank you. Jesus! He got up and charged it there. Straight away. The knocking didn't stop. It only got worse. Oh, God. At first, they thought it was only coming from the outside of their home, but they soon came to the dire realization that something was hidden behind each one of their doors. Go on, charge. Oh, my God. Their house started getting messier and messier, and then the activity became a little less playful and a little more violent. That's uh, not good. The water, tap water running. All right, you can close the drawer. I said stop. Although this last clip seems a little suspicious, I hope the ghost is going to clean that mess up. Suspicious <laughs> that everything is being pulled the same way and that the lights are off. Perhaps it could be obscuring the truth. Although the lights are quickly turned back on in the next clip. I was just like out of a horror film waiting for out of like you know, a ghost film or something waiting for something to come running out of here the darkness and charge at you quite finished some commenters seem to believe that the lights flickering is morse code some say it spells get out and others say it's just gibberish yeah. from this point on things started to get physical though god here we go physical um did i just see that her hair got pulled Flickering is more Morse code. Physical though. Watch. Yep. Pulling her air. Cheeky ghost. Oh god. We can't see anyone pulling on her hair, but it's definitely moving. 
Harry Potter's Invisible Cloak or a real poltergeist haunting? Harry Potter's Invisible Cloak. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number four, The House of Dolls. Number four, The House of Dolls. I hate blimmin' dolls. So especially ones that look, like, look really real. Freaky. If you have been trembling at our scary compilations for a while, you probably remember Rosemary, the haunted reborn doll. A huge. We are back. Rosemary made it to Goose Pimples on YouTube. Shout out to our owner for somehow making us cower at dolls even more with every video she uploads on her TikTok page. It's Rosemary time. Rosemary, the haunted doll, has been caught doing a whole lot of creepy stuff, and a lot of people have been convinced she has some kind of motor placed inside of her. But does she really? Before we cut her open, let's watch. Sorry? <laughs> Before we cut her open. What this haunted doll has been up to lately. Look at you. Pointing your finger like that. Creepy ass little freaky baby doll. Oh, look, it looks so real. Hate that. Especially if they're haunted as well. That doesn't help. The hands moving. I mean, she could have like a control or something, you know, button up and down. Throughout every clip, Rosemary's owner tries to debunk the movement showing us multiple angles and close-ups to prove what she's experiencing is real paranormal activity. Surely, it's got to be someone tampering with the doll, right? Well, how do we explain this? There could well be someone hiding off camera and flicking the light off, but it's pretty clear that no one was doing it when it first turned on. Did I just see that? Did the doll look at the camera when the light turned on? Well, how do we explain this? I'm not sure. There could well be someone right, hiding off camera and flicking the light off, but it's pretty clear that no one was doing it when it first turned on. Is there another light switch for that room somewhere else in the house? We should trust Rosemary's owner when she tells us that there isn't, because what happened next is pretty damn hard to explain. Always, always the right arm. These Mexican waves from Rosemary, without anyone touching it, forced her owner to try a little something. At some point, she changed Rosemary's gender and named to Crew Wilder in hopes that the new identity- Sorry, what? You changed the doll's gender? If it's a haunted doll, it'll be even more peed off now would free the supposed spirit that lives inside her. 
but of course, it didn't change anything. She also tried placing her in different rooms, but no matter where she went, Rosemary still felt restless. And this wasn't just a one-off either. Rosemary's owner, Eva, managed to catch this situation again, Eva, Eva, from a different angle. A little red balloon, isn't that like from uh, the uh, Stephen King's It. Maybe the whole right side of the doll was haunted. Or, um, you know, possessed. It's pretty clear that nobody's standing behind her. So how does she keep moving? Hands moving. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I'd be straight out of that house, take the doll, and I don't know, get it, send it to the next charity shop or something. <laughs> turns, looks at the camera. There's no way it turns by itself. Got it all dressed up and everything. That's just even weirder. I mean, everyone's got their own hobbies and whatnot. Um, that bottle just moved to the right by itself. This one here with the cotton wall in it. Well, why don't you pick it up, show us there's no string on it. If you thought that was creepy, wait until Rosemary gets taken apart. Surely there's got to be something inside of her that's making her act this way, right? She does not have a moving mechanism in her batteries or strings or anything to manipulate her to move on the inside of her. So just a fair warning to everyone, she is a doll, she is not real. I wouldn't do this to a real child. I hope not, and obviously, it's uh, not a real baby. So, anyway, I already have the scissors on the back of her neck, so we could cut her zip tie. So, that's what you see right there. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it, and her head's going to fall off. So, here we are. So, I'm going to take that zip tie off, because you cut it. I have a new one right there by her head. 
So you just take all the stuffing out and that's pretty much all she has. She has stuffing. And this is hard to do with just one hand. Um, I really need to get like a tripod or something. Yeah, get a tripod. Eventually. So, all you can, all you can tell, this is all she has in her is just stuffing, beyond stuffing. And let's try to get all this stuff out of here. And then I can show you. So, as you can see, in her arms, there's no string, there's no nothing. This one, she has a little bit of um, uh, stuffing left, but she does not have anything in her arms, actually. They're actually just all squishy. I don't have glass beads or anything. And then the bottom of her, there's nothing there except for a little bit of uh, glass beads that she had for a while. And the thing in the back is actually just to gather her uh, cloth body in the back. So what I'm trying to show you is this area back in here, because people will say, well, that's a string. Well, it's a fabric piece of something to actually, that part right there is actually a, a, a piece of fabric. It actually forms her cloth body, but it's not very long. It actually stops to about right there. It actually gathers her body in the back to create a somewhat of a, a little booty on her and that's all it is. Her arms and legs are completely What? <laughs> Why don't you leave it on the table like that and see if it still blimmin' moves? Hollow. There is nothing but stuffing inside there. So how is she moving on her own? Either Rosemary can move, or something is dragging her around the place. I do like that, that she debunked it. Um, took everything out from the inside, don't see any batteries or nothing. That's good. She's apparently even handy with a deck. <laughs> what did I just miss? I think a card went flying out. So let's see if the doll moves when the card comes out. No. What do you think about all this? Let us know in the comments, and while you're at it, make sure you give Rosemary a follow on Baby likes to joke around. On TikTok at It's Rosemary Time, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to fuel your nightmares even more. No, okay, thank you. Number three. Number three. Ghostly pet. Ghostly pet. Sometimes, believing that your beloved pets are still around after death is a warm, comforting idea. But what happens when that idea becomes a reality? God, that's just like something straight out of like Pet Cemetery. Classic Stephen King film, by the way. Go check it out and watch it.
Are you sure it's not something crawling? What was that? Not Comforting obvious. idea. But what happens when that idea becomes a reality? Yeah, what was that noise? Was it a baby? I think so. Look, something moving. <laughs> You sure it's not something crawling? Okay. So I I got it though. Do it again. I know you saw that. I know you freaking saw that. I yeah, I freaking saw that. You can't miss that. Saw that. Did you see it? I saw that. I got it the whole left. thing. I got. Did you see it? The whole thing. In the description of this clip, Creepy's Encounters says that they all believe this to be the spirit of a kitten playing under a blanket. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. How can you explain this weird footage? Number two, Demon Daisy. Number two, Demon Daisy. Oh, this sounds like that video game Daisy. <laughs> There's a long list of reasons as to why you should draw your curtains at night. And this clip uploaded by I, when I go to sleep at night, I always have my um, blinds closed or you know, curtains closed. Comment down below if you sleep. When you go to sleep, do you have your blinds open or closed? Or your curtains open or closed? Hussy Pay on TikTok is certainly one of them. There's something moving there. And this clip uploaded by Hussy Pay on TikTok is certainly one of them. Hussy Pay. Look here. Oh, he went peekaboo. Look. Peekaboo. No, 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 no. No, I'm not having that. I hate that when they come running at you crawling. And it screams. Hopefully this is just a scary made up clip, but what if it isn't? If this isn't CGI of a demon clawing its way towards the camera, then who is crawling Skinwalker style towards the house in the middle of the night? Again, Skinwalker things. I sort of believe in that sort of stuff, Skinwalkers. Let uh, Comment down below, let me know if um, you believe in Skinwalkers. The text on this clip translates to be careful when you go to the forest or the mountains so it probably followed the original uploader home. If you go down to the woods tonight you might be in for a paranormal punch in the face. If you go down in the woods tonight. Or not. Number one. Curtain call. Number one. Person call. Oh curtain call. 
your peripheral vision can trick you into believing you've caught a lot of things out of the corner of your eye. Shadows, objects, faces, all sorts. But you Yeah. I hate that when you wake up and you like to sort of like waking up. Especially like if it's dark and your mind's like playing tricks with you and you like Did you see any did you see something? You can usually just brush it off as seeing things. Although that sense of security quickly flits into thin air when you catch your suspicions on ca I'm waiting for, for that to do a different, um, you know, like turn the other way or something while she's staying like that. Camera. Oh god. You freaky little demon child thing. Usually just brush it off as seeing things. Although that sense of security quickly flits into thin air when you catch your suspicions on camera. Uh, watch up, up here near the... Uh I don't know, is it like a gate or something? I mean, this kid here looks like he's uh, out of it. Here we go, get ready. Look, look at you! Jesus. They don't even know that's behind them. Unbelievable. Did you catch it? L Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Look closely at the red arrow next to There, look. It's like looking over here at these girls. Creepy. The curtain when the camera pans around. Either somebody had one hell of a rough night, or there's something One hell of a rough night. <laughs> ...sinister lurking behind these kids. And before we show you today's bonus video, let us know what you think this could be in the comments. Bonus video. Bonus video. Moving into a new place comes with its aches and pains, but the last thing you expect is a shadow monster lurking at the bottom of the stair. God, I hate those things like the grudge and all of that stuff. I, I especially hate the grudge. Bears. <laughs> oh God. I thought that was something in there, but here, look, it's moving. I'll go back so you can see it. <laughs> Bonus video. Moving into a new place comes with its aches and pains, but the last thing you expect is a shadow monster lurking at the bottom of the stairs. Look, look. There's nothing there at the moment where these two lights are. I mean, to be fair, it could be the kid or something playing a game. Yeah. Go hide over there, peek your head up slowly. Oh wait, that is a cat. Oh, no, 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 cat would be like trying to play or something. Get 
No, esa sí. mierda de seguir mi marica no, no por calme, sí. Oh. Marica, sí. Oh, my. He was looking at them from the bottom of the stairs and his hand. I got the chicken. I'll go back, look. <laughs> look at you. And he just went. Marica, si yo. See, I mean, why isn't the dog barking? Because, you know, dogs sense paranormal and all that stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now the dog's barking upstairs. Jeez. No. Oh god, don't do that. That made me jump. I love them. I love my horror films and scary films and <laughs> ghost videos. I I love the uh, the jump scares. But jeez. Did you notice? Now I've seen it. I'm, I'm not gonna jump. Did you notice the jump cut just after the um figure disappeared downstairs? Keep an eye on this orb and you'll notice the jump cut pretty clearly. I didn't even know Which we orb. could assume. It's the movement when whoever was downstairs came upstairs to give them a fake paranormal punch in the face. I bet it made you jump out of your seat though. It, it made me blim and jump, that's for sure. Here's another one uploaded by Joe Brown, Ghost Hunter, on TikTok. Look at you, little shadow bugger behind him, going like that. A fake paranormal punch in the face. I bet it made you jump out of your seat though. Here's another one uploaded by Joe Brown, Ghost Hunter, on TikTok. Look, watch. They're like, you know, happy as Larry. Oh, we've just got married or something. Just got our new place to move into. <laughs> and they don't know this creepy little shadow buggers in the house with them. <sighs> Although we couldn't find the original source They're of this video, unaware. the shadow figure looks very much like Danny Donahue's style, who's a filmmaker. This clip is not on his YouTube channel or TikTok profile though. Hopefully one of you guys can shine a light on who created this masterpiece. Please let us know in the comments if you've seen this clip before. And if you're curious about... No, never seen that clip before. ...about Danny Donahue, we covered his... Danny Donahue... Not heard of that, I'll have to look that up. Danny Donahue videos a while back in a compilation that was meant to show you guys some channels who okay. everyone believes to be real but the creators themselves are pretty honest about their fictional content like Tim Morozov Dark yeah you yeah, blimmin' Tim Morozov I really enjoyed watching him until he came out and said yeah, all of his videos are fake etc 
on Ghost, etc. If you want to know the truth behind Tim Morozov's ghost videos, click here to learn what other compilation channels don't tell you. And don't forget to subscribe to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark. Shouldn't you say thank you for watching? Make sure you have the lights on. <laughs> and you're very welcome, Goose Pimples. Great channel, great content. All right. Whew. Well, <laughs> that was uh, definitely interesting. Um, they were all good. All the uh, all the clips didn't really have any favourites. Uh, comment down below which uh, number was your favourite or if you enjoyed them all or if you didn't enjoy them let me know and uh, yeah until next time this is Random Reactions HD signing out until next time take care and bye bye